Welcome to clickmyproject.com Let me discuss about the process the capacity of wireless CSMA bar CA networks Let me discuss about the abstract of the project Efficient discovery and effective sharing of spectrum opportunities are the most challenging issues in a multi-channel cognitive radio network with multiple secondary users distributed opportunities of spectrum access scheme based on sequential channel sensing in decentralized CRN cognitive radio network different from the traditional spectrum sensing scheme the scheme proposed allows a secondary users to sense many channels one by one sequentially in a slot opportunity spectrum access based on sequential channel sensing in decentralized CRN simulated annealing is a probabilistic technique for approximating the global optimum for a given function specifically it is a meta heuristic for approximate global optimization in a large search space it is often used when the search space is discrete the SA heuristic considers some neighboring states of the current states and probabilistically decides between moving the system to states and staying in states these probabilities ultimately lead the system to move to states of lower energy. This approx jointly addresses when to perform sensing, which channels to change in what order and how long to scan each channel. Let me discuss about the flow diagram for our process. Initially, the parameters has been initialized. Next, generate the channel matrix based on the base station, primary user and the secondary user. This is the system model. A one cell wireless system where the PU and the SU transceiver coexist in the same geographical location is assumed. The scenario is investigated for a downlink path and the KCR users. Primary users base station transmit signals to PU primary users each of which occupies a determined frequency band in the available spectrum. The CR network has an individual base station that identifies the spectrum holes on the basis of the collected information about the spectrum, then deactivates primary user subcarrier and transmits its user's information on the remaining subcarriers. Next to the subcarrier allocation. In a single channel communication system, the deamplification and loss present on them can be simplistically taken as attenuation by the percentage. Then amplifiers restore the signal power level to the same value at a transmission setup by operating at a gain. If we experienced 6 dB attenuation in transmission, 70 percentage loss will be occur. Then the we have to amplify the signal by a factor of 4 cross to restore the signal to the transmission level. The search for a proper subcarrier allocation for CR network is inspired by the optimal user selection for subcarrier. Next, the power has been allocated. The, by allocating a specific user for any subcarrier in conformity with the proposed metric, the optimization problem becomes similar to one optimization problem for a single CR user case. Finally, the capacity maximization. With regard to the results and assumption proposed in previous section, the problem of maximizing the capacity in the downlink path can be formulated. If the interference will be less than threshold, then maximize the capacity of assigned user. Finally, we analyze the performance graph based on the capacity maximization with the help of water filling algorithm. In order to compare the performance of newly proposed algorithm with the previous ones fairly after determining the proper power for each branch by the Lagrangian based algorithm in each iteration. Let me discuss about the running procedure for our process. Select the main dot temp file in the current folder. Write the file and run for executing this process. Here we analyze the capacity maximization for our CSMA CA networks. In this networks we improve the capacity based on the primary and secondary user settings. After estimating the performance graph, we come to the conclusion for our capacity maximization. In this process, we estimated the saturated mode and unsaturated mode. 
based on that network we analyze the throughput and capacity of our system here we obtain the graph this is the connectivity between every users and this is the channel coefficient values and this is the FFT transformation that is Fourier, Fourier transformation first Fourier. and this is the consumption power at every channel and uh, this is the graph for saturated mode this red color represents the ideal mode and th this white color region represents the buffer status and this blue color represents the transmission mode and this is the unsaturated cases and this is the dual saturated network for the unsaturated network and this is the normalized throughput by varying the link index we analyze the normalized throughput for the values of rows equal to 0 0.75 this is the normalized throughput for the values of rows equal to 0 0.5 uh, by varying the link index for existing system and this is the normalized throughput values va when varying the row is equal to 0 0.25 this is our proposed system and this is the our existing system for our rows equal to 0.25 and this is the rows equal to 0 0.05 values for our proposed system we obtain the normalized throughput and this is the normalized throughput for our existing system when row is equal to 0 0.05 and this is the Normalized throughput when rows equal to 0 0.01 for our proposed system and rows equal to 0 0.01 for our and this is the capacity graph between proposed and existing system by varying the iteration number we we got decreased response in the capacity and this is the normalized power in what between our existing and proposed system by varying the iteration number and this is the sensing time for our various channel finally we increase the capacity for our saturated and unsaturated mode using our CSMA bar CA networks thank you